sitting on the horns of a dilemma trying to figure out which career option to opt for or what career options are available to you in general? Let's find out together in this video what are the plethora of career choices you have in front of you. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Rinal and I'm a software engineer by profession. Outside work hours, I'm also a classical pianist, a singer and a close-up magic hobbyist. On this channel, I strive to help students and young adults like myself streamline their workflows, become more productive, optimize their performances and lead happier, successful lives. If you enjoy the vibe and ambience here, do consider subscribing. Getting to the meaty part of this video, what career options are available to you? Let us first start with your education background. What courses and subjects you have taken so far will determine what options are there in front of you. It is always a good idea not to narrow your choices or restrict yourself by taking a stream which is not flexible or specializing in something that does not allow you to switch to other careers later on in your life. Starting with the first grouping, physics, chemistry and maths. When you have the combination of physics, chemistry and maths, you can go into options like engineering. Inside engineering, you can go for civil engineering, mechanical engineering, computer science engineering, which is something I have done, right? Aerospace engineering, electrical engineering, electronics and communication engineering, and a variety of other options as well. If you don't like engineering, maybe you can go become a data scientist, right? Data is the new oil. So you can become a data analyst, you can go into machine learning, you can go into artificial intelligence, right? neural networks and deep learning, research, right? You don't really have to choose right now. You can explore slowly, take a few courses here and there. You can also go for architecture if you are fascinated by designing, planning and construction. You always have the options of going into defense, going for research, right? get a PhD in maybe physics or chemistry or maths and pursue the research field you can become an ethical hacker go into cyber security right an ethical hacker is somebody who identifies the vulnerabilities in a system and reports on those vulnerabilities let's say you have a banking system and during a transaction the flow of money occurs from one account to the other right if there are vulnerabilities in the system a hacker will exploit those vulnerabilities and take the money for themselves an ethical hacker will report on those vulnerabilities so that the system becomes more secure. You also have the options of becoming a pilot, a commercial pilot and other options inside aviation like becoming an aviation engineer, becoming an air traffic controller, a flight instructor, an aircraft maintenance engineer or an aerospace engineer. When you have biology tossed into the bucket, then you have the options of the medical world open up for you. So if you have physics, chemistry and biology as subjects, you can opt to become a doctor, right? You can become a surgeon, you can go into general surgery, neurosurgery, plastic surgery and a variety of other options. You can become a dentist and let's say you don't like people but you like animals, you can become a vet or go into pharmacy, physiotherapy become a psychiatrist or a clinical psychologist and you will also realize that psychology is available in the humanities section but if you become a psychologist through that you will not be allowed to prescribe medicines because you won't have the know-how if you have gone via the biology route then you will be allowed to prescribe medicines as well and on top of this you can also choose to go into research right in medicine in biology in microbiology maybe pharmacology toxicology right Say you don't have science subjects but you choose to go for a commerce stream right you can go into accounting and finance become a chartered accountant maybe a financial analyst in insurance companies big security firms and become the fund manager in mutual fund companies right you can also become a financial advisor and go into banking and insurance become an investment banker or go into the whole world of management Now, if you have humanities or arts as a stream, you can go into business administration and right? you can become a lawyer, 
you can go into digital marketing which is a really interesting field right now so digital marketing basically involves promoting brands and products online via the internet to potential customers and clients right you have uh, topics like search engine optimization inside it which become very interesting as you study them as i've mentioned earlier you can also become a psychologist but you will not be allowed to prescribe medicine so you can become a counselor or a therapist in this case and go into the fields of management or if you're into writing and communication then go into journalism and mass communication also become a tour guide become a tour manager become a travel agency manager and interior designing is always open hospitality and hotel management are also options that you should consider i just want to let you know that the career options and the list i provided above do not form an exhaustive list in any way your work does not end here on the contrary it begins here you should take the fields and options that seem interesting and attractive to you and research on them right if you have questions regarding any career options which i may or may not have listed feel free to use the comment section below as a discussion forum i hope you found this video helpful and if you did don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content like this thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one bye bye